Libya's pro-government forces have seized control of the coastal city of Sirte from ISIL. Sirte, on Libya's Mediterranean coast, was the last sig a significant ISIL-held territory in the North African country. And we're now joined by security expert Naim Gina, who's live in Johannesburg, to talk more about this. Naim, ISIL has proved to be a formidable force over the years. How will the loss of Sirte impact its operations? It will have a severe impact. I mean, uh, of course, right now, <coughs> the Islamic State group is under severe attack in the main area of its operation uh, in Iraq and, and Syria, um, and taking quite a battering there and losing territory um, uh, in enormous amounts of territory. So um, Libya was still that, that place, although not linked to that central area, that was quite important for it. Uh, but losing CERT now and uh, essentially uh, on the verge of losing its foothold in, in Libya completely, um, it will be quite a big knock for it, uh, uh, especially since many of its senior leaders have also been in Libya. Are we likely to see an escalation of terror attacks sponsored by ISIL just to show its capability has not been gravely depleted? I don't believe so. I think that uh, at the moment they are under such severe pressure that they don't have the capacity to carry out operations outside of their main war area really, uh, which were two, uh, Iraq and Syria on the one hand and, and Libya on the other. And so I don't think they have the capacity to carry, uh, to carry out operations, to plan operations or even the time to, uh, to plan and to, to think about those. So I don't think that we're going to see an increase in operations around the world as a result of, uh, of what happened in Libya. And what should the international community do to finally defeat ISIL? Well, I think that the, uh, what's taking place now in, uh, in the Iraq-Syria uh, theater of, of war is exactly what, what needs to be done uh, at the first level. And that is that uh, ISIS needs to be defeated at a military level. I don't believe that it's going to be simply defeated. I think that it will lose all its territory um, in, the, in the near future, um, sometime uh, uh, into next year. But that won't mean that it will be defeated. I think that it will convert itself into an insurgency, into a guerrilla army and continue uh, its attacks in that kind of way. But the military defeat is, is uh, an important part of it. The other important part of it is to stop the flow of recruits uh, to ISIS and, and I think that, that the military defeat would help to do that but uh, also that um, its ideology has become attractive to many people around the world and so to stop that, uh, that kind of recruitment uh, would be the second important leg of this. Um, and the third important leg which also the military defeat will contribute to is to stem its uh, flow of funds. Um, not or losing the territory that it's been controlling means that it won't have, um, it won't be getting taxes, it won't have the oil to sell and, and other commodities that it has been selling. So its funds will go down, but uh, that, that needs to be decreased uh, further. All right. Now in Gina in Johannesburg, thank you.